87 squats in two minutes. I'm okay with that. So it begins. All right, so today we have, or I actually made testing protocol. And essentially what that means, uh, I made a series of tests, including strength and endurance, speed and agility, balance, mobility, flexibility. And I will have users uh, test and retest every like well, first, eighth, and 12th or 13th week or something like that. Um, but essentially you are trying to get objective data to see if you are progressing, not only off on the mountain, uh, but off the mountain. So uh, things like wall set to failure, squats in two minutes. Um, I've got some speed and agility work, uh, some balance work, and some mobility stuff. So we're going to do that today and uh, see where I'm at. Sarah and I are actually feeling under the weather, uh, most likely from international travel. Our bodies were just all wonky and I'm not feeling 100%, but that's okay uh, because I may test lower and then I can just progress from there. The other thing I wanted to show you is uh, we have our calendar here, which I made. Um, and essentially that is a step-by-step -step calendar. Uh, really, really easy to follow. And I'm pretty happy and proud about this. So um, again, I don't expect anyone to follow this step-by-step. -step. Uh, if you do, you are a wizard. Um, but it's just a nice uh, foundational calendar for those to follow and get a good idea. Fuck, I always forget how challenging wall sits are. Oh, these are not fun, but we're doing them. Let's go. 87 squats in two minutes. I'm okay with that. Pull-ups, my favorite. I'm pumped from push-ups. Let's do one more. Woo okay, this is my before. And we'll just compare it as we uh, go along. Good morning. Woke up a little bit early today. We're gonna do a quick yoga session uh, before we get our day started. Dude is currently patrolling the area, doing a good job. Here we go. So today, normally, like I said, this is a 12 week program. Um, and I started off this program with week one being phase one. Uh, but generally I wanted it to be an introduction to a lot of these types of movements for those who are not familiar with uh, strength training or uh, you know strength and conditioning protocols or terms or things like that. So it's really a way for you to get to know somewhat the style of the program. So for me, because I created the program, because I'm familiar with these moves, I ended up skipping week one. I moved directly into phase two, phase two being the eccentric uh, based movement. So eccentric being kind of the reverse or slower, uh, slower, how do I say, contraction. So let's say bicep curl, me slowly lowering that, re-opening if those muscle fibers cross each other during that concentric re-opening uh, those my muscle fibers uh, ends up being a lot harder, more challenging, and creates more muscle hypertrophy overall. So phase two, I'm doing the eccentric version. Uh, essentially, I created it for Monday. And yeah, we're just going to jump in. Uh, we're going to try it out. I'm going to follow it uh, step by step. Uh, you'll probably see me extra sweaty at the end of this. So I have these uh, cheap water shoes that I got. I think it was like four bucks or something. Um, but I really enjoy using them for my workouts just because they're pretty minimal. Uh, they're comfortable. I have wide feet. And uh, it's something to give me a little bit more grip. Um, in regards to my warm-up, I have a dynamic warm-up that I will utilize uh, many times. But today I decided I wanted to use the uh, rower. And I'll do this for about five minutes. Love the rower. Great for posterior traction, glutes, hams, things like that, upper back, arms, etc., etc. So we're going to start on the rower today. All right. So first round, I have goblet squats, falling towers, and alternating shoulder presses all in an eccentric motion. So we're doing five seconds down, I believe, 
Yep, five seconds down in eccentric motion for everything. So I don't need a ton of weight. Like I'm literally gonna start with 35 pounds, see how that goes. Because if you've never done an eccentric squat, man, it's hard. All right, here we go. So we're doing, I believe, five to six repetitions for this and so not a ton. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And we're driving back up to start. And I'm not concerned with knees over toes. I'm not too overly concerned with how perfect your form is. Do what's best for you. So if my feet need to be wide, I'm wider than normal, because that's what my anatomy tells me to do, that's great. If you're doing that or compensating because of a previous injury, well, then it's time to see a health professional or a very skilled personal trainer to help you work on those fixes so you can be more efficient. Why do we, you know, as an athlete, why do we work on mobility and flexibility? What is that doing? Not only does it make you feel better, but it allows you to really be efficient with that range of motion and the muscle contraction in itself. You know, if I can contract that muscle in a longer range, more comfortable range, I can be more efficient, I can be more powerful. I'm not losing, dissipating energy when I'm, let's say, stepping and turning or working on a quick heel, heel side cut, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Here you go, falling towers. So, going backwards, working on eccentric quadricep strength. Five seconds. I'm gonna start in a lunged position. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. That is the result of day one of phase two of shred. So pleasantly surprised on how challenging that was. I think my total time here, 49 minutes, not bad. That's kind of right on the nugget. That's right, right where I wanted that 45 minute range. Granted, I took a little bit less breaks. I like quick transitions, kind of more of a hit based. So that's the beauty of this is I wanted to allow the user uh, to kind of customize it to the, how they work out. So whether you wanted to take a movement out that didn't really fit with you, whether you wanted to speed it up, slow it down, it's totally up to you. Um, but I'm pretty happy with 49 minutes. Uh, and that's just for day one. I think there's nine movements total, so it's not a ton, but eccentric contractions and uh, movements in general are just they're incredibly challenging, uh, even for the strongest person. So um, I consider myself pretty strong, but throwing an eccentric movement in the mix is, it's tough. Uh, so that was end of movement or day one. Easy mile and a half done. Just a quick aerobic workout uh, on top of the MDSA routine as well. So just to keep my aerobic conditioning up. All right, it's my favorite time. Sauna time.